Hi, Man to Matcher community. This is Jason Holmberg from Wild Me. Wanted to let you know about some new developments inside Manta Matcher that are a part of some ongoing work that Wild Me is doing to improve Wildbook in general and Manta Matcher particularly. Uh, thanks to some new investment from the Georgia Aquarium as well as the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, we've been upgrading Manta Matcher, we've been fixing bugs, we've added an online community where you can report bugs and request features. And as well, we've started bringing the Manta Matcher platform in terms of its machine learning and AI capabilities much closer to the general Wildbook platform that's used for whale sharks, whales, and other species. One of the things we recently added is something called the Hotspotter algorithm. And it's used to identify mantas based on their belly patterns. Um, in this case, uh, let's go ahead and submit a new manta photograph and let's understand how um, the new process for Hotspotter is um, a little bit different than the process for the old Manta Matcher algorithm, which is still supported. So you can use the old Manta Matcher algorithm or the newer Hotspotter. And we even have more development in the works for something beyond what I'm going to show today. But let's start with what we have. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to go to Report and Encounter. I'll put in a random Manta belly shot. I'm not going to put in a date for the location. I'll just go ahead and put in Thailand for now. My information is populated. And importantly, I'm going to go ahead and set the species. The Wildbook machine learning pipeline will only try to compare individuals from the same species or if we configure it to um, match based only on the genus level then it can go across species but we'll always only try to match individuals from the same genus. In this particular case we only want to match uh, your traditional giant manta. Go ahead and click send encounter report. We have our new encounter. And on this encounter, uh, you might be familiar with seeing the menu option that says Create Optional Feature Region. We continue to support that. The great news is that doing this one step here that you're already familiar with actually enables you to use the old Matamatcher algorithm and now Hotspotter. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, I am going to crop and rotate just like we did under the legacy Manta Matcher algorithm. Really get a nice crop on the ventral patterning here. We're going to save this as a candidate region. All right. Let's go back to the encounter. Now, for, from a, a Manta Matcher perspective, you still see your candidate region. You'll see a new image was added. This is the CR image. And you'll also see your traditional Manta Matcher extracted patterning. You can click New Scan, and all of this still works. However, you now have a new menu option to do Hotspotter. And here it's just simply Start Match. So this is much more in line with how other wild books work and execute algorithms like Hotspotter and CurveRank and some of the newer deep learning techniques, etc. So this is a new menu option that you haven't had before. Um, and as I said, it can be used in addition to Manta Matcher. We think you'll like this algorithm a little bit better, but that's up to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Start Match. And just like you can for the Manta Matcher algorithm, you can pick a subset of individuals you want to match against. In this case, it is subsetted by the location ID. You can multi-select. In this case, I'm only going to try to match against Thailand. There's only one algorithm to choose from here, and I'm going to click. You can also click My Data if you only want to get match against your catalog. But in this case, I'm going to try to match this Manta uh, against the Thailand catalog using Hotspotter, and I'm going to click Match. 
All right. This is the results page. Um, this is much more common for other wild books. Um, you would see this same results page on Flukebook if you're trying to match a humpback whale, um, or on Flukebook as well if you're going to match a dolphin by its fin. On Giraffe Spotter, you would use this to execute Hot Spotter to match different giraffe. All right, in this case, we are waiting for the uh, identification task with Hotspotter to return. All right, our Hotspotter results have returned. We're going to get a ranked list here of which individuals the Hotspotter algorithm found similar patterning. In this particular case, you'll see a huge strength score difference between the first ranked match and all of the others. As I roll over, you can see the potentially matched patterning. So here I'm going to roll over this one. Use my mouse wheel to scroll down. Wow, this is looks like exactly the same individual. I can also do click inspect. And this will actually allow me to see what are called the hotspots or um, areas of similarity found between the two images. This is incredibly similar. And I can even, if I decide this is a match, I can click select and set the individual ID right here on the page to the potentially matched individual. This URL can be emailed to a colleague for review. As well, if you go back to the encounter, and you go to the CR image, you can always go to match results and you'll get right back here for review. All right, so the purpose of this video is to let you know the Hotspotter algorithm is now available to identify uh, mantas based on their ventral patterning uh, inside of Manta Matcher. This is um, just a part of additional development for Manta Matcher that the Wild Me software engineering and machine learning team is doing. Hope you enjoy this and please remember should you have questions, bugs, uh, feature ideas for Manta Matcher, come on over to community.wildbook.org and let us know about them. We're uh, happy to respond. We have a support engineer on staff whose job it is to um, help you as a community. So thank you very much.